Don't you just love Ravenfield maps that come out and completely change the way the game is played? Today, we've got another one from one of the greatest there is. Some call him Sofa. And look at this. I've got an F6F Hellcat. We're taking off from the carrier deck. We left some of our boys behind. Now, there's some anti-aircraft guns. Now, what you're going to see here is actually pretty interesting. So, here's the map. We've got two friendly carriers over here. And then two enemy Japanese carriers over there. I really don't have to set a plan and be like, hey, maybe we should attack them. And look at this. I got I got my I got an M1 Garand and a Colt 1911. But what we're gonna be doing. Let's see, do I have any bombs or ordnance? No, just some. Oh my god, it even sounds like the 50 calibers. Oh, this is taking me back. This is a little bit nostalgic. Look at this. We're covering distance pretty well already. And I am just now making out the enemy Japanese carriers. So it wouldn't be wise for me to fly low like this, but it's Ravenfield, so I could probably get away with it, honestly. Normally, I'd want to take to the skies, get elevation, and maybe boom and zoom. Oh, oh God! <laughs> well, let's try this again. Soldier, I'm gonna need a gunner. Which one of you wants this really- No! You biscuit eaters! Ugh. Oh my God, I'm- I'm superhuman. Get- <laughs> Well, that's what you get for stealing my plane. You know what? You survive. You're a brave man. Come on over here, son. You're part of my squad. I think this is an SPD-5 Dauntless uh, dive bomber, and it's got this little rear machine gun, so it's got twin 30s. Did someone steal my plane? No, someone took the fighter. Basically, that's the fighter. This is the dive bomber. Now, I think there's also torpedo bombers, but torpedoes aren't necessarily working right yet. These things are dual purpose cannons that can shoot at surface targets or shoot at air targets and here we go bob you ready to get in this thing oh god someone's gonna take it and there we go i've got my gunner there's the other friendly carrier so sofa is the guy that made some of the best maps i've ever seen and played in ravenfield where's my rear gunner fire and i'm I, they're not really in range but it, it would have been pretty cool to hear i think we need to congratulate him on the job well done. He's not as active as he used to be. He's a busy man doing epic things, but still taking the time to share with us these incredible maps. The only thing that I think would make it better, I mean, I could list off a hundred things of features I'd like added to this to make it even more enjoyable and immersive. But remember when I said at the beginning that we're playing it in a way that it's not designed to? Ravenfield isn't stock designed to, I mean. Well, we got a bomb in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and fire it. Oh, there they are. Okay. I found them. <laughs> and uh, we're going to reload that. We are going to try to take out the enemy carriers. Once they're dead, we win. <laughs> it's that simple. The spawning points you see here are actually destroyable. So I guess what we'd want to do is probably get some elevation on these carriers, right? To avoid those little pesky zeros, you can see one flying below me right now from being able to get me and shoot me down. Oh, I can see some zeros on the deck. Maybe they're... I think they're called VALS? The Japanese... Uh, the Americans nicknamed all the Japanese aircraft, like, VALS and zeros and all that stuff. I don't, I don't know if there's the Japanese version. And Anyway, I wasn't there, guys. I wasn't in World War II. But don't worry. I've got pop culture references and in some Wikipedia articles telling me I know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is gonna be interesting. Oh, snap. Well, we're going straight down. Oh my goodness. So apparently, oh my God, I just wrecked that sucker. Now the anti-aircraft rounds are finding their mark on my tail section, but look at that. You can even see my air brakes, those little circles on my plane, but unfortunately Ravenfield does not. Oh my God, Gunner. Bob, you had one job, Bob. Your job was to shoot down the enemy plane. Now, we're both gonna die. Or we're gonna bail out in this ocean and get eaten by, I don't know, sharks or typhoid fever. I think that's an animal. Or at the very least, response. So, you can come out here and be like, you get mad at somebody. What is that? Is that Japanese or American? It looks American to me at cursory glance. There we go. I pulled out an anti-aircraft gunner because clearly my plane is more important than the vehicle that we're taking off from. The giant aircraft carrier, which is actually the thing we're supposed to protect. You better get in that. Okay. So Bob died, and now we got Bill. And let's hope Bill is going to be a little bit better. Oh my god. Lo don't you love how the landing gear, the animation where it just goes up, which would decrease my drag and allow me to fly faster? So, normally, in historic, like, historically anyway, 
You see how those guns are behind the propeller? And you may be like, well, how come the bullets don't destroy the propeller? And that's a great question. Well, what happened is they're synchronized to fire through it, basically. It's pretty cool. It's it's called, they use this thing called, um, <clears throat> math. Yeah, dude, imagine Marines hitting that beach. Oh, that would be glorious. Now, which of these... Carriers did I bomb? I, I'm pretty sure it was the first one. I took out an anti-aircraft gun and I think both aircraft that were remaining on the carrier deck. So the carriers are not moving targets, which does make them a little bit easier to hit. Hello, boys. Now, this is a very, like, not steep angle. Bombs away. Now, I'm going to watch this and we're going to do it in slow motion. Okay, you can see my bombs. We went midsection and look at that puppy. Oh, yeah, we killed Clip, too. I don't know where he was, but he is dead. So we know where he is now. The afterlife. If there is one. Wouldn't it be cool to see this Japanese aircraft going back to land to rearm? I think it's a Val. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a Val. You see how it's got its landing gear still out? So that's the, uh, their dive bomber. Well, yep, D3A1, the Val. Sir, you are dead. I don't know what's going on out there. We got some crazy stuff. But let's just celebrate this glorious kill. Ew, and there's a Japanese Zero in front of me. How do we tell? His landing gear isn't down. And there's only two types of planes in this one. What's up, bud? Yo, what's up? What's up? So we're definitely engaging at what would be known as long range. But we're getting some hits because he's like, Oh, it's Ravenfield, my AI. Isn't the best for aerial combat. Hey, dude, these machine guns, while they're probably just 30 caliber, I don't remember. 50 caliber is bigger than 30 caliber because 50 is larger. And this isn't golf, this is war, son! So anyway, what we would normally do in a game is, you know, if this was like, if Ravenfield could go deep and I wanted to go <clears throat> deep. What's up, Bob? No, his name's Bill. So what you'd normally want to do is circle around the carrier. You'd, you'd account for the wind and all that jazz, which, you know, was very popular around this time, jazz. We come around to this carrier, and this is not the best way to do it. But it's a video game. <laughs> With a very forgiving flight model. Then we come down here, drop our landing gear, and normally we'd fly, but you know what? I'm just gonna go pop out. Oh my god. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Bill, don't, don't tell anyone I did that. Well, there's only one way to be sure. No, I can't do it. Do it. What? Do it. Bill, are you telling me to do it, Bill? Bill, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, your name wasn't Bill anyway. You were living a lie! So I'm curious, can I operate these big boys? Oh my goodness, I can. Oh, did you see? That was weird, we glitched them out. How many pistol rounds does it take to destroy a Hellcat? Is this plane to just get destroyed? So what I'm gonna have to do is kick it off the carrier deck. See you later! It'll sink. It'll slowly glide to its demise. So we're gonna need the uh, carrier to <clears throat> magically pop up the next aircraft we're gonna get inside of it this is what my viewpoint looks like although it's pretty epic right now did he just parachute oh i thought he parachuted out oh there we go okay i was like i can't see them come on boys where are they at can i switch places nope let's parachute out oh he parachuted with me oh oh if we don't land on this carrier we are dead but yeah if this carrier could have amphibious attack craft that would be hitting the like beach where there were some bunkers and stuff Amphibious invasions are like one of my favorite things. All right, you, sir, have been chosen. We still haven't shown off the ultimate feature of this map, which is, no, not getting two gunners in the same spot. That would be kind of cool, but we can't do that. It's destroying the enemy carrier. So this map is on the Steam Workshop by Soph. It's called Flat Tops Air War Over the Pacific. Is someone shooting at me? Or is that my gunner? That, 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 that. Oh, that inlet is the perfect place for a tiki bar. Who wants a pina colada? I'm gonna go ahead and switch to bomb view. And you know what? Oh, there's a there's a plane taking off right now. Look at that. He's just now just left the tip of that carrier. All right, all right. Now, bombs are away. That should be about midships. Ooh! <laughs> we killed a guy named Spooner, so that's that's pretty funny. All right, so let's go ahead. Since we have air superiority, we should have a much better view. That. Is it sinking, or am I just really high up? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go around for another one. I can't tell. It's sinking. It's definitely sinking. You see that? The aft of the ship <laughs> is uh, going down. All right, so we've destroyed the enemy carrier, guys. This is glorious. Hello there. Goodbye. 
Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I love it. The way the carrier sinks is epic. Oh my gosh, that just makes me so happy. Let's try it out from the other angle. All right, so if I'm gonna be on the Japanese side, I, I can't just be operating with American weaponry. Let's see what we got. So I've got the, uh, I'll just call this the Type 100 because I don't speak Japanese. Or I could go with an Arasaka with a bayonet. I'm gonna go with the uh, submachine gun. And oh, let's just use this Russian stand-in pistol because we don't have a Japanese one. <laughs> All right, who wants to be my gunner? You know the drill. We're all gonna die. Let's just do it a little sooner rather than later. Oh, what's up? The amount of maneuverability we have. We don't have very high top speed though, which does make sense for this type of aircraft. It would be slower than the Zeros. You got a smaller engine maybe, uh, definitely the drag from the landing gear. What kind of bombs are we working with? Oh, we got three bombs and a proper bomb site. Unlike the Hellcat, which I guess, no, not the Hellcat, excuse me, the Dauntless. Why am I lost a little bit of health. Okay, so those were all drops. I'm not sure if it was, I clicked the button three times. What does it look like? Boom, boom. That's our spread, right? At this angle, which will probably do more of a diving bomb run. What is that? Is that rocks or a sunken ship? Maybe some submarines surfacing or a transport ship? I can't really make it out very well. I'm gonna assume it's rocks, but I would like to think it's something cooler. Oh yeah, so one of the things is I don't think the Japanese anti-aircraft guns were working, uh, but the American ones are. No, I definitely got hit a little bit. The big, the big Japanese anti-aircraft guns were not working. Oh man, that was a nasty hit. Oh snap. Oh snap. All right, this is not going well. Well, this is my life. Ooh! Dragas is in the enemy carrier. Okay, rude. I like the Japanese carrier. It feels a lot lighter and more open on the carrier deck. Oh, there we go. See, there's the there's the Japanese guns. For whatever reason, they're doing choreographed dancing. So I'm not entirely sure that they're gonna be used for fighting. So maybe I have to fly lower, which is really weird. Oh my God. Enemy fighter aircraft already just nipped at me and I've lost, oh, I don't know, 15 to 20% of my health, I'd say. Hellcat flying overhead, circling back, trying to get on my old six o'clock because you know they love it. Oh man, you see those anti-aircraft rounds exploding in front of my face? This is not good. If we manage to pull out a W on this one as the Japanese, uh, I'll be surprised. Because right now it's just me. I, I, oh, well, this is why you want a gunner for situations like this. All right, evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. All right, we'll get the bombs out. You know what? I'm gonna adopt an old tactic. Oh, I didn't drop the bombs. I tried to, but I think when your aircraft dies, you can't drop the bombs. Well, I guess what we could do is maybe take command of these guns ourselves. Incoming bombs! Whoa! Those things flew right over my head. That was rude. First off, I mean, we could fly the Zero. We haven't flown that. Now, look how sleek this is in aerodynamic. It looks compared to, oh my god. All right, so let's go ahead and find ourselves a Hellcat. That's a Val. Japanese aircraft are mostly playing defense right now. And I can't see an enemy plane just yet. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any bombs armed, so I won't be able to go on an offensive run, but let's go ahead and try to find ourselves a US Naval Carrier Aircraft, AKA a Hellcat. Where are you? Where are, that looks like one. Is that a, no, that's the uh, dive bomber. Yeah, take out the Dauntless boys. And then my friendly uh, fighter pilot just flew right by my face, pulling a Maverick. I guess he thinks he's the top gun and curiosity strikes me right now when I reminisce on, isn't Tom Cruise like 87 years old and now he's top gun for the third time? It's kind of crazy. Hold on, there's a the Hellcat. He's like blending in with the ocean. There we go. Those are some good hits. I'm super sensitive right here. I'm still sensitive. No, like uh, my the flight model, I guess, uh, and the controls, all of that. Something, something. The game. It's the game, not me, guys. Oh! <laughs> I have brought Omner to my family. Well, guys, this has been Flat Tops Air War over the Pacific by Sofa, formerly known as the Fifth Smell, the maker of Project Alteris and some of my favorite maps ever made in Ravenfield. And once again, pushing the envelope, creating a game that's different than what you'd see in Ravenfield. 
So let me know if you'd like to see more. What maps? What kind of themes would you want? How about a Star Wars one for the next Ravenfield video? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.